Morris. For the oh, gossip columns, now to the arts. The Landfall Theater is currently performing a locally produced play entitled simply Nettie. And it stars the subject tonight of Susan Spencer's People. Susan? David, the Landfall plays, Landfall Theater's play is based on the life of Nettie Hayes, a nightclub singer and entertainer in St. Paul during the 20s and 30s. Nettie is 75 now and going strong, providing the musical accompaniment for the performance. <laughs> Always all by myself No one to talk with I'm happy to be on the shelf the Landfall Theater's production of Nettie has brought it all back to Nettie Hayes, starting in 1919. She had studied music at the Boston Conservatory, then won a role on WCCO Radio's Gloria Dale show, and then finally a bit part on the old Helen Trent soap opera. On live radio, a teenage Nettie Hayes didn't always behave like white writers thought black folk should. What is it you've heard? That he told you to make a choice? Either his love or your career. Biggie body, excuse me, but could you move your feet? My goodness, what size shoe do you wear? Woo! Oh, oh, you know, how do you think you're In 1928, Nettie Hayes hit Broadway, and for two years, she shared billing with Louis Armstrong and Fats Waller. But looking back at her career, that isn't what she talks about. Rather, it's the time she spent in St. Paul, then a gangster haven that made Broadway look tame. For 10 years, she played in clubs here, chiefly in a rib house and casino called Thans on Jackson Street. For a broke young girl who'd previously only sung in church, working with Than during the gangster days was a real eye-opener. He'd go to the phone when it was kind of slow. I'd call up the jail and say, let them all come on down. I'd say, come on, that's, that. <laughs> that's where I met. Babyface, <laughs> Babyface Nelson, and uh, there are several others uh, that came. But whenever they came, Dillinger and all the rest of them, you know. And, you knew those people? Oh yes, I knew. I wish I had a penny for every dollar that you'd given me. Well, he was cold and ruthless. He could shake hands with one end, blow your brains out of the next, and you know, I never even crack a smile or bat an eye. <laughs> You know, he was that ruthless. You were a young girl then, didn't oh, that yeah, frighten you? Young. No, no, frighten me. For what? I... Nettie Hayes at 75 is still as gutsy as ever, though life has the turned girl, less right, glamorous. She lives girl. now in a modest Bloomington apartment with her three adopted kids, her babies, she calls them. She supports herself by some singing, day work, now the play, and retirement is the furthest thing from her mind. I'll retire when they put me out there in that six foot aside. I, <laughs> I have no reason to retire, you know. There's nothing that will put you, Susan, in the grave as quick as a rocking chair. Now you go over there and sit out in a rocking chair. You don't have anything to do. You know what you're doing? You're waiting for death to come. Heaven's my home and I ain't homesick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say out late, don't get a go. I my I misbehaving, saving my love for you. Just you. I'm saving, saving my love for you. Boy, she's a not tremendous bad. entertainer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's, she is not on stage.